LeBron, nigga. Eh? Ladies love light skin. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, that, that's his sister. L -L -L. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to At the Crib Cooking. The Valentine's Day edition. You know, we're going to throw out some... What's this called? Chicken something. Yeah, chicken Alfredo, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, it's Valentine's Day, so men need to get out their ass and do something a little nice for the lady, you know what I'm saying? Don't take her somewhere. It's more from the heart when you do it yourself, you know what I'm saying? So, we're going to give y'all a little recipe. That everybody loves Everybody loves chicken Alfredo, whether it be shrimp Alfredo, chicken, or... Uh, beef. Yeah, that too, you know. So, whatever Alfredo it may be, you know, Alfredo? women love Alfredo. I don't think it is. I we're just going to roll with okay. it. Okay. So, all right. What you need is, you need you about six chicken breasts, six halves. If you have large chicken breasts, just use three of those. Of course, you need your fettuccine alfredo. You'll need six tablespoons of butter. That's eight ounces of mushroom, half a cup of sour cream, a three-quarter cup of flour. We're going to get back to you on that, make sure I didn't lie. And then it's a three-quarter cups of Parmesan. All right, Parmesan cheese already grated. Now I use pre-grated, but it's best to give it a to give it the fresh taste to grate the cheese yourself. But I cut a corner because we ain't got time for all that. We only get 15 minutes of fame right now. So then also you have a whole onion. Then you use the you, excuse me. You're supposed to use three Roma tomatoes, but I don't like tomatoes that much. But just to give it that effect and to see how it would taste a little bit, I used one. But you're supposed to use three. So I want a tablespoon of white pepper a tablespoon of Italian seasoning and you want four cloves of minced garlic and if you didn't know which I didn't know a half a teaspoon of minced garlic is equal to one clove so just to help and also we have some liquid ingredients that we're going to put in I'll tell you the measurements to those once I add them and then also on the side I'm going to serve it with some broccoli you usually can add it in but I just want it on the side so that's what we're going to do. First thing you want to do is go ahead and start with your chicken go ahead and throw you in Two tablespoons of butter. And if you don't like Cajun, you can just abort all the Cajun part completely because you'll have enough flavor with your Italian seasoning and your garlic, so you don't have to do this. This is just something I feel like doing. So I'm gonna change the taste of it. And I'm trying to shake this sticky ass stuff because I don't want to test this raw chicken with my hand just yet. Let me wash my hands and do it for you, bro. No, I don't want you to do nothing. Just sit there. Yes, sir. And look, yeah, look uh, good. Look, Look festive, I guess is the word. I hope that's the word they use. I do too, but you know, it's Man. only half or two of your garlic cloves. And add to the butter. It's a good melt. Go ahead and add the chicken. Now with your Italian seasoning, you go ahead and just. Cook your chicken so there's no more paint. So as you're slowly getting your chicken cooked, go ahead and start your water boiling. That way you ain't got to worry about it with your noodles. Make sure you get it nice and level, that way it's cooking even. And keep it nice and level on your eye. My nice assistant keeps reminding me without paying. Mm -hmm. You just look festive. I mean, it's Valentine's Day. I mean, that's what fellas do for you. I mean, what would you do for your lady on Valentine's Day? Well, first, I would get him some roses, and then I would get him some boxing some paint points, and then I would get some of this sugar, dirty delight, chicken alfredo, put it on the bed with some roses, and then you use your bed to match Just to throw something out there. You get your chicken good and done, you go ahead and take that off because you can go ahead and start on your Alfredo sauce. You're in your face shots, you're in your face shots. Supposed to be showing, there we go. There we go, so they can kind of see what the chicken should look like. Okay, prove your point. Prove your point. Prove your point. Serious anchor reason on the camera person, please. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of there. Get out of there. Are you filming? <laughs> Are you were filming the fucking ground? No. I don't understand why you were filming the ground. 
I wasn't. Hey, don't waste that nigga shit. Don't put in on shit. You would need three cups of milk. Go right back to the instructions, did he? I did. I did. <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying I don't understand. I don't understand. Okay. So you need three cups of milk, regular <laughs> milk, and then one cup of half and half for your liquid ingredients. But you don't add those till toward the end. I just want to give you the liquid measurements so I didn't forget. Take four tablespoons of butter. And this is the start, you got Alfredo sauce. That's a chisel stick to make it feel so good. <laughs> anyway, and you take the rest of your minced garlic, the other two cloves, like I said, four cloves total. Two into your Alfredo sauce itself, and two into your chicken. Then you saute your onion. You want to saute your onion so they're transparent. Which means you can kind of see through them. Anyway, you get that good and transparent. I see it. I see that it. ain't that ain't my idea. I don't care. And this is a third <laughs> cup of flour. Once your onions get good and transparent, you go ahead and add it in. And you cook this for about two minutes. Now that in. I'm salt and pepper. Slowly add the milk. Yeah, and this is the half and half, the one cup of half and half. Now after you add it, your three cups of milk and your one cup of half and half, you should go ahead and add your mushrooms. But actually I was supposed to saute my mushrooms with the onions, but I forgot. My bad. Make sure you break up any caked up flour and onion. And make sure there's nothing sticking on the bottom as well. Alright, you stir it in until it's good and smooth. Okay, that burns. That's heat. And after you get it good and smooth, it's cool to laugh, man. I fucked up. I gotta make sure these stoves work. Cause they be cutting off the shit, man. So I took a chance with my oh, flesh. I'm get sorry. Some milk and stuff, man. What? What's <laughs> melting? How does it melt milk? The butter stuff. That was the earlier before we was shaking it, and I told you it's yeah, faulty. Oh, it can't work. Dog. Oh, Didn't it? Oh, he haw. He always. <laughs> Shut up, man. Real shit. And I just see my damn shadow. That's After you get this good and smooth, you can go ahead and start adding your cheeses. Three quarter cups of freshly grated Parmesan. And an eight ounce bag of Kobe Jack and Monterey. Is that right? Kobe Jack? Yeah. The Kobe Jack and Monterey is Kobe and Monterey Jack. Duh. So you go ahead and stir in the cheese. Make sure you rub the bottom. Use the plastic on the metal, not metal on metal. And as you can look at it, you can see it slowly thickening up if the camera wasn't on my face, like my face is cooking. And while that's slowly thickening up, you can go ahead and add your chicken. As well as your sour cream and your tomatoes. While that's cooking and thickening up, you can go ahead and put your noodles in the bowl as well as start on your broccoli for your side. Cut it down too, that way it don't thicken up too fast on you and don't stick to the bottom of it. And you put about a cup, a half a cup of water in. We're not going to really boil the broccoli. We're going to kind of steam it. It's in a steam bag, but I don't use those. Plus, I'm going to add a little butter and garlic salt to it. Two tablespoons of butter. Some water. A little bit of garlic salt. The basil in it. Okay, it's not basil, it's parsley. I'm sorry. I'm going to use organic. Well, you know, James Lynn suggested that I use organic. You know what I'm saying? How you doing? I also didn't wear the polo shirt since she had so much shit to say about the polo that I continuously wear like it's a fucking crime. My bad. 
the organic polo all for you. Organic no polo all for you. Motherfucker. For like 12 minutes and make sure you stir them. You can also put a little olive oil in them. That way they don't stick. Sauce is pretty ready. It's just well, as thick as it needs to be. Now we're just waiting on the noodles. But while we got this time, I figured we'd give a couple tips and pointers of do's for Valentine's Day. Not that I do the right shit all the time, because I got a hater out there who will quit to tell you you're going to do shit. So I want to tell you pretty much, let's say what I, what you shouldn't do that I did do, okay? Let's put it out there, okay? One. Don't, don't take mix somebody. things with a spatula that does, I mean requires a spoon. Then your whole dish won't be over the side of your pot. All right. Two. Don't dress like you're in an audition for fucking Boys in the Hood too. <laughs> when you're on the set and you know some shit, you set yourself up right in your mouth. Like you gotta just know everything. And you've no, just been like, no, no. But okay, can, can I finish talking since you nicely got your shit out? You could have easily yeah, said, girl, man. you could no. I talk as long as I want to talk. I didn't say you was my girl. Well, my man, I, I, I girl. Said, you talk somebody, go for that. So if I gave you the floor, I can't don't ask you for the floor Don't talk to Jan, don't talk to Jan, don't talk to Jan, So if I gave you the floor, I can't ask you for the floor as well? Let me get down. When I get back. Let me get down. Do's and don't do's for Valentine's Day. Be original. Flowers gets old. Okay. Do Don't throw up original. what you did, because if you throw up what you did, that means it wasn't sincere. Boom. Everything has to be from the heart, from right here, right here. If what you come is? in the house and she didn't do nothing, take everything you did and put it back in your car and then go somewhere else till somebody just going to appreciate it. It comes up to my next one. Don't be cheap. Yeah. I'm real cheap. Ain't that right? Real Don't cheap. get plastic flowers so you can give them over and over again. You know what I'm saying? Don't clean her shoes out and try to give them to her again. Let me keep with the dudes. I'm talking about they the retros. Yeah. And also, don't come back, like, baby. I was thinking about you. Every Valentine's Day. You know what I'm saying? Oh, shit. Oh, man. See what? Just stick it in right. Yeah. yeah. That's you know, you, you really could just try one of these. That's for you, man. boo. That's all for you. All for you. You know what I'm saying? Try that, man. All it's for you. I mean, don't worry about that dying. You know what I'm saying? That's like I love. You know what I mean? The whole plan ain't dead. You know what I'm saying? I mean, still got life in this thing, girl. Just like us. See, if you're smooth, you can breathe down like that. Huh? Huh? Uh-huh. All right. Yeah, those are some not to do's for Valentine's Day. And key word is remember. <laughs> Dip and drain. Just like from the love kitchen. Yeah, I know it's perfect. I mean, Dunny did that. Nice flavor too. You like it? You like it? You like it? Right? You like it? Garlic? I like it, and it ain't mushy. I don't cook say. it to tender. Cook it to tender. Yeah. Tender. How long did you cook it? Mm, about eight, 12 minutes. We want to ask the viewer something, please. Okay? Now, we're not saying that I'm right and he is wrong because that's what we're saying. But we exactly. just want to know. Vice versa. True. But we have a split decision here. I feel like a nice chicken alfredo, some broccoli, and a nice glass of wine with your lady would be romantic. And you feel? Champagne with strawberry floating in a thing. Before it's champagne, but I can do wine. Well, how you gonna see the strawberry floating that thing sexy with the bubbles flying off of it and some wine? Give me some clear wine, baby. White wine. You want some ripple, motherfucker? No, <laughs> I need me a white. I just need me a white little sun, little bubbly. All I don't right. need this. Why? They got white wine. Whatever your opinion is, comment on the box below. It's your boy Dunny, the little twin. Champagne and strawberry or wine. Thanks for tuning in. Okay.